I remember we were going down the hill and into the woods and we see two hunters, they look at us, we look at them, they turn, we hear the three gunshots and then we hear the dog yelp. So we come out of the woods and we're like heading home and all of a sudden she says, is Jayla bleeding? And I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure that's just her tongue. So I get out, I go check and there she is bleeding. So I yell at my grandmother, somebody shot her and like, we run down to my house, and I run in the door, and I say to my dad, Dad, somebody shot Jayla. Tucker, my grandson, and I were taking a golf cart ride. We have a golf, our own golf cart, and we take the dogs for, we ride on the golf cart, and they run around, chase rabbits and the whatnot, and get exercise. And 1 o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday, Tucker and I were taking a golf cart ride, and um, we saw some hunters where they shouldn't have been, so we decided we better get out of there, and then the next thing you know, we heard two, three shots, and we heard the dog cry, and then the dogs came running. The little one jumped up in the golf cart, and the big one, Jayla, she just kept running. And every time I stopped the cart, she wouldn't come back to me, so Tucker ran ahead to see if she was all right, and then she was bleeding. So um, we came home. She just kept running. We came home, and then my son put her in the truck, and we took her to the vet. She has a bullet that went in here, and it's now lodged down here in her nose. Hunters just need to be careful, I mean, a thousand percent before you pull the trigger. Because if you kill a little boy like that, or an older woman, people are really going to be upset with you, you know. If you could have killed my dog, I would have really been upset with him. I'm upset with him now. If they had come right when it happened and said, oh, I'm so sorry, I made a mistake, that might be one thing. But now they're just cowards.